hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime i upload a new video so let's get right into the video in today's video we are going to be talking about how to know you've orgasm this is a sensitive topic but still so many women don't actually know when they orgasm when the guy asks you hey baby did you come and you're like even when you know that you did not come like you don't even understand the whole thing about this orgasm of its thing so before we get right deep into this video what is orgasm orgasm is the climax of sexual excitement so you should definitely take note of that climax when you hear the word climax it means the apex so it is characterized by intense pleasurable feeling centered in the genitals yes in the genitals why in men it is experienced with the support of what ejaculation so this is what you need to understand by orgasm just as i defined this i said it is what the climax this is the 100 over 100 you can actually get from sexual intercourse the highest enjoyment you can get from it so now you understand what orgasm means you must have also heard about squirting some people actually interchange squirting as orgasm but honestly squirting is a way different thing what do we mean by squirting so let's define it squirting is a discharge of fluid from the urethra you know what urethra is that place you pee from that is the urethra so it comes out when it comes out during sexual stimulation and this can happen before or during orgasm so that means you can squirt an orgasm you can squirt first before orgasm so now you know that when you squirt it doesn't mean you have orgasm and sometimes you also hear somebody talks about come c-u-m come have you come come actually means squirt it doesn't mean orgasm but most of the times we actually use come as the word orgasm when a guy asks you have you come what it actually means is that did you orgasm but the truth is come actually means squirt come is actually what came out of the genitals so it is the flu so now that you can differentiate between squirt and orgasm since they said orgasm is a feeling let's actually know what you should feel when you orgasm so i want you to also know that some women can squirt and not orgasm some women can also orgasm and not squirt i don't know if you understand me you can squirt and squirt like that flu you discharge during sexual stimulation can just be everywhere but still you did not orgasm or still you will not orgasm then you can also orgasm and that fluid will not come out you will not see any of that fluid any of that discharge coming out of your vagina so since we've talked about that orgasm is a feeling and it is something you feel it is the climax of sexual intercourse so what kind of feeling are you going to have when you orgasm to know that this feeling i'm having right now is the orgasm feeling not another type of feeling that i'm getting so when you orgasm you can feel that your vagina is contracting you can feel that your vagina is contracting during this process of coming mind you you're not going to come for two minutes three minutes it's just seconds so you have to take note of your body when you are having sex so your vagina can start contracting you know what contracting is when something is contracting you can start feeling that and that is a feeling of you've orgasm the second thing you might feel is that you might feel your pelvic lifting or trusting pelvic is your lower abdomen that's your pelvic area so you can feel that this pelvic area is lifting is trusting that can also be that you have orgasm so you can also feel that your abdomen your thighs your leg they are all shivering yes you can feel they are shivering or they are contracting this is also a feeling that you have orgasm when you start feeling those place shivering shaking this is a feeling that you have orgasm so your boots as well your boots your legs your tie your stomach the muscles around there you can feel it that it is what shaking it is shivering or it is trusting any word you can use interchangeably for it you can just feel them shivering so this is a sign that you have orgasm so the last way to know that you have orgasm is when you orgasm you feel the sensitivity 
yeah you start feeling very sensitive you may not want your partner to continue with the sex or continue with whatever he was doing your genital areas will just be feeling sensitive you don't want him to touch you for like a minute or two you just want to you know calm down because the feeling of sensitivity is just too much that you can bear to continue with whatever you are doing so this is also a feeling that you have orgasm so these are the few things that you will feel when you orgasm so when you don't feel any of these things it might be that you did not actually orgasm because i want you to know that orgasm is something that is very difficult for we women it might not come through sexual penetration it can come through clitoral stimulation because that's why they tell you that 50 to 70 percent of women actually orgasm through clitoral stimulation so it might not only be through um penetration you can also come through clitoral stimulation so you can find other ways through which you can orgasm but i just want you to know that you should not feel bad when you don't feel any of those things during sex which will make you feel bad that you do not orgasm i just want you to know that some women might only come once or twice throughout their whole lifetime so orgasm is not something that will make you feel that okay because you did not come it means you did not enjoy the sex just make sure that you enjoy yourself during sexual intercourse and remove your mind from orgasm and squirting or coming. You can still enjoy the sales even if you did not orgasm. Just as the definition states, orgasm is a climax. So that's the height you can go during sexual intercourse as a woman. That's the height of the feeling you can get from it. It's not every day, definitely, you'll just be getting to that highest point, right? So sometimes you can get to the middle point, way up why sometimes you get to the climax. So guys, I hope this brings you all to knowing what orgasm actually means and what it feels like. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime I upload a new video. See you guys in my next video.